Okay. Well, now we can head to the library at least. And they gave us a nice fast travel route to do so. Alrighty. And over, and it looks like up above. As I hit my head on. There we go. Ooh, I might be able to get over here now. Yes! We'd met with the traders before, but I'd never seen so many people and goods in one place as in the city marketplace. They bustle about on a million errands, merchants shouting their wares and Lashani soldiers patrolling the streets in their purple armor. They've declared Wendaria part of their empire now. They rule here. Miss, someone calls. Can I interest you in some fruit from the stars? He's not local, and his wares are unlike anything I've seen before. What is this? I ask, picking up a spiky purple bulb. A Lashami sun. Sweetest fruit you'll ever eat. It's from Lashem? He laughs. Nothing grows on the devastation anymore. But it's from one of the colonies. Where I'm from, in fact. I hear a cough behind me, and then a group of Imperial soldiers stand around the booth, staring at the merchant Though the leader stares only at me, my heart begins to rush. Uh, I'm sorry, officers, the merchant stammers. I meant no disrespect to the home world. Don't let us hear you call the shame that name again, one of the soldiers say. The merchant nods, but the leader continues to ignore him. He removes his helmet to reveal a young face, and handsome. His hair is bright blue, like all the native Lashemi. The Lashemi are said to be quick-tempered, restless, uh, yeah, yeah, but the blue hair is such a marvel. The officer smiles at me and my pulse quickens, but this time not from fear. I overheard you ask about that fruit, he says. You have an eye for equality. He noticed my stare and I blush. Would you allow me to buy that for you? Everyone should be graced with the taste of a Lashemi son. Interesting. So Salen's memories are showing us a bit of the past. And blue hair, huh? Natural to Lashane? Very interesting. Oh, what's this? Oh, more map. Not too much more, but still more. Handy. Let's see what's up ahead. Hmm. Had to check. <laughs> Ew. Oh. Oh, is this the backer room? It might be. <laughs> this game was kickstarted, so it's very possible that these are the backers. Nifty. And a bunch of alchemic stuff, too. No way! I had forgotten about this! It's Mr. Hat! Anyone who's played Shovel Knight knows of Mr. Hat. He is quite the backer and definitely picks some pretty good games. <laughs> Anyways. I stay in the city for or several days, hoping to explore and trade. I end up spending much of my time with the Lashami officer. For all our history, we have been a restless people, he tells me. He's told me much about their history, philosophy, and art. It drives us to explore, to go further into the stars, to seek the unknown. There is so much beauty in the universe, so many unseen wonders. I used to have a drive like that, I say to be a hero, to be the one my people look up to. I think you still do, he says. There's a fire in your eyes. He leans close, staring into them. I blush a little, but stare right back. 
So if you have such drive to explore, why are you still on our world? I ask. There's still a lot to see here, he says softly. I want to understand other cultures and perspectives, help bring their ideas into the Empire. I recognize our system is not always perfect. We put a lot of focus on resources and power, but... I believe our drive is also towards self-improvement, or at least that's how I'd like it to be. A noble goal, but he interrupts me before I can finish. I know, there is still so much to be done. Wisdom to study, allies to find. I continue to stare into his eyes. They are full of passion, but a quieter kind. Now, this gorgeous blue head draws closer to mine. There is such beauty in the universe, wonders to discover, he continues. Such as? I ask. He answers with his lips on mine. Hmm. The more we learn, could this be Bunace's father? <laughs> After all, we have no idea who, La who Lunace's father is, and these are Selene's memories. Alright, so we've checked everywhere here, and the more we learn, the more questions we get. About 40% of the map already. Well, with the Area B card key, we have more of Lashame research department we can check, so let's do that. Do, 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 do. Down we go. Down and around. Actually, before I forget, do we have any quests that need to be done? The bleakness. Well, I should talk to a librarian about that. I made a. Needs a plasma crystal from the caves. I gotta remember to go with that. Six needs eel meat. Again, this is stuff we need uh, to be able to swim for. And hair still. Apparently, I've only taken out one royal guard. I could probably respawn him in that room and just take them out. And then Ashame hasn't wanted anything yet. I'd say we're on good progress so far. Most of the stuff we can't do quite yet. But let's ask. Uh. <laughs> we. Oh, wrong button again. I'm used to hitting triangle to pause and bring up the menu. So we now have. Librarian's robe. Huh. Definitely much stronger than anything else we've worn. Huh. I didn't even know she could trade that. I have nothing else to equip. Let's see. Yeah, no, um... I don't think we picked up anything about the bleakness, did we? That should be under journal. Letters, downloads, no, nothing. Okay, so we haven't found anything about the bleakness yet. And I've checked everywhere I can in the library. Well, I guess we're just gonna go look through the re research lab. Maybe we can get an answer. Oh, I look forward to when we get our fast travel. Hey, we're strong enough to one-shot those things. Uh, looks like those two spots there and down. Well, let's check the spots to the right first. If we can. Yes, we can! Another memory. Childhood, huh? Mother passed away before Lunace was born. The whole clan grieved with me, but we could not grieve for long. Lunace was born as we traveled. She had brilliant blue hair, confirming in my mind who the father must have been. The elders asked if I wanted to find him, to bring him into the clan, but I said he couldn't be trusted. He's Lashemi. Anyway, I had no desire to see him again. He was never meant to be a long-term commitment. 
Well now, we finally learn the truth. Linace is part Lashemi. Linace is headstrong. She rallies the kids around her in games of exploration and adventure. I try to teach her patience, but it comes slowly. But she's strong. Not like Faron and Gianna's son. Yorn is quiet, and he can be mean. But I cannot blame him. Faron gives him little attention. Yorn seems unable to replace Faron's previous son from the other history, no matter how hard he tries. In his mind, his family is lost to the sands. Gianna gave him a son, but despite her best intentions, she could not give him the kind of family he wanted. I understand now why Mother privately cautioned her. Lunace, wait up! Yorn calls as they race around the encampment. Lunace pauses, then Yorn rushes past her. <laughs> Sucker! Lunace snarls and gives chase. Sticks float in the air around her head. Her aura is powerful. More powerful than mine. We will have to train her as a time messenger. We may have to train them both. We can't keep on like this, or we will lose our whole clan to other histories. So it seems the more they try and protect themselves, the more Lashame gets aggressive and tries to hunt them down. Oh, things are definitely getting interesting. Man, talk about a busy city, though. Well, now we have a quick way back and forth. that quite yet. Can't even go farther anyway. So let's find out what's over here. That's a level A, so we still can't go in there. What about the one above? Level B. Alright, let's find out. I'm kind of just gonna ignore these things. Oh, the bleakness! Bleakness research, proposed methods and their effic efficiency in curing the bleakness. Abstract. The bleakness, a genetic medical condition that has been linked to several negative symptoms, has plagued Lashame natives for over a millennium. In this paper, we propose possible cures for the disease by gene modification, infusions of synthetic plasma, and temporary exposure to plasma radiation. User testing consisted of 50 adults, per technique, between the age of 20 and 40. Results were statistically significant for all techniques on both short-term and long-term examinations. P-values less than 0, 0,1. Short-term measurements show that relief is reported by the measured in 0% of the gene modification subjects. 88% of the synthetic plasma subjects and 100% of the plasma radiation subjects. Long-term measurements show that this reported relief experienced by two of the test groups does not last, with 86.2 returning to baseline discomfort within one week and 100% by three weeks. We recommend that further research is done on gene modification as technology improves. Wow, so they're trying to find a way so people won't die from the bleakness, but it seems the only way that's happening is the radiation, and even then, it fades. Well, we got our answer for one of our friends, and you can tell this was the facility it was done in. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting strong enough that I can one-shot these and two-shot these. Nice. Well, I think I've done my fair share of recording for now, so I'm going to take a quick break. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Time Spinner. This is Autumn Child saying, I'll see you all next time. <laughs>